I don't want this in my video. Like, are you working? What are you doing? We will make fun of you. I call it co-op, so cope. We'll see. That's why I'm home all the time. I'll stop eating this cookie on camera. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Um, still have my morning voice and I'm looking in the viewfinder and yeah. This is how I wake up in the morning, so you don't realize what you actually look like till you like are seeing yourself in the camera and it's just like dark all around your eyes and I look pretty tired. I don't know why. I got a really great night's sleep last night. Besides being woken up by construction, the usual, it was really good. It's been really cold and this morning it was so cold in our apartment, so it took a lot for me just to get myself out of bed because I was so warm and cozy under the blankets and I was like, I need to get up, I need to get up. No, 10 more minutes, I just wanna lay under the blankets. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this um, and I'll be back. You know those like beauty YouTubers that they always do? They're always like, and, and then they snap and then it like cuts to them like being all like made up and stuff. So here we go. Okay, I'm not just kidding. Now that my face has been taken care of, but I definitely didn't do anything with my hair, and I can tell. I think I might have like some sort of dread back here somewhere. Um, so what's on the agenda for right now? Um, to clean up my kitchen. Does anyone else do this where you are done cooking dinner or like it's in the evening and you just have no desire to clean up your kitchen? Just like, eh, I'll deal with it in the morning. Well, that's what happened. So today it's gonna be cleaning. I think I'm gonna bake some cookies today. And then uh, what else was I gonna do? Edit our London vlog and what else? And I need to go grocery shopping. So I'll take you guys along with that today. All right, so I made myself some breakfast, some eggs and toast, um, and I have my tea here. This is Earl Grey. I love coffee and I drink it on a pretty regular basis. Um, but sometimes I actually like to drink tea instead. It still gives me some caffeine, this is black tea, but I find that I don't crash as hard and I don't get like the shakes and don't feel as bad. I don't know if I'd wanna go as far as totally cutting out coffee, um, but definitely cutting back a little bit I think is really good for me. So right now I'm going to eat my breakfast and I'm gonna work on editing our London vlog. One of the most frustrating things though, I have to say, about editing videos is trying to find good non-copyrighted music. There's a lot of stuff out there, but finding like the right song for the right video, it just is hard. Like, it just takes so long to find a song that I'm like, yeah, this suits the video. Yeah, I like this song. You know, cause you can't just use any other song on YouTube. If you do, run the risk of getting it taken down or the audio being removed or stuff like that. So it's like a challenge to find actually good stuff. Some of it is just like annoying and I'm like, I don't want this in my video, you know? Another thing, if you guys are wondering why I'm home a lot, I get this question a lot like, are you working? What are you doing? Um, so I thought I'd clear this up here. Uh, no, I'm not working at the moment. Um, so I'm like having a little season of being like a housewife, which is actually okay. I really, um, I really enjoyed it and really loved like setting up our home and just being like a wife, like learning how to cook. You guys, I didn't cook at all before. Um, so learning how to cook, clean, grocery shop, you know, my husband works really hard. And so I love um, to like when he comes home from work to like have a hot meal and have the house clean and stuff like that So I've actually really liked it and obviously I moved to a totally different country um, And so a different culture and so it's been a nice season of being able to actually take my time to adjust um, and actually be able to take spend so much time with like Jesus and just asking him what does he have for this season why are we here? All of these different things and being able to actually just have lots of time, like open-ended time. And I'm really, really, really thankful for that. Um, and I know that this won't be my life forever. So I'm really trying to take advantage of it. Um, so yeah, I can't work because I don't have my visas yet. Um, my work visa. So 
for those of you guys that don't know, I married a Swiss man, we moved to Switzerland. And so I'm waiting on my B visa, which is gonna allow me to work here. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening in this season. Um, we have most of the paperwork done, but there's just some little bits that we have to wait on before I actually go to the Canadian embassy to give my passport. And I have to get a new passport because I changed my name. So that's gonna be a whole process in itself. I'm telling myself that it's gonna be easy and just praying that it's all gonna go smoothly and trusting that it will, but you never know with government stuff, with visa stuff, so yeah. So yeah, that's honestly why I've started doing these videos like this where I really love editing videos and it gives me something to do and it also gives me some awesome memories that I can look back on. It's a nice hobby to just be able to see like, whoa, when I was 22, I moved to Switzerland. It's pretty crazy. It's exciting, it's awesome, but it's also a journey. And I wanna do a video um, talking about what it's been like to move abroad, how it's been the last couple months, the good things, the bad things. Um, so I'm hoping to do a whole video on that soon. Hopefully I'll be able to do a video like that where I can just update you on life here and also do a couple more videos just about Switzerland and how different it is to North America. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's why I'm home all the time. <laughs> I do try to get out and do stuff and a lot of times on like Chris's days off I won't video just because it's like our time together. Um, not that he like doesn't want to be in the video. It's just a lot of times it's just us like hanging out and doing stuff just together and it's nice the quality time. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll check back in with you guys later. So I edited um, some videos and did some cleaning and now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store I have my warm clothes on my toque on um, because I'm pretty sure I haven't checked the temperature, but it looks cold and it's freezing in our apartment So yeah time to bring out the warm winter jacket the toques the mitts the boots I don't have a ton of stuff to get at the grocery store. Um, just a couple little bits to get us through the next couple days. So here we go. So luckily for me, all of the grocery stores, we have a bunch really close to our apartment. Um, and it's always nice to just go walking in the neighborhood uh, where we live. Um, it's really pretty and so it's always nice to take a little walk it's just so different than like in at home I would never walk to the grocery store even if it was really close to um, my house I'd always just drive mostly because if you're picking up too much stuff then you kind of need a car to take it home so I can really only get as much as I need to hold but Chris and I that's totally enough walking to a grocery store called Coop right now it's like co-op we actually have co-op in uh, Canada, but here they call it Cope. And I think it's totally a different company and people will make fun of you. They call it co-op, so Cope. Um, and yeah, can I get some stuff? I might not do a ton of filming in there. I don't know if I'll get in trouble. So yeah, we'll see. Here's the cookie dough. Oh my gosh, who else eats like half the cookie dough before baking it? I finally found a recipe. I don't know if it's gonna be good. Uh, this is the first time I made these. If you saw my, what was it, birthday vlog or something like that? Yeah, I, I was trying to make myself a birthday cake and I thought I had gotten brown sugar, but it wasn't brown sugar. And so I've since then realized that they don't sell brown sugar here. 
um, normally. A couple people have suggested to go to like a, um, what do you call it? A, like an Asian or international supermarket. So I've been in a couple and haven't found brown sugar yet, um, which is a bit of a shame because a lot of baking recipes have brown sugar. Um, and a lot of cookie recipes have brown sugar in it. So um, I had to do a little search on Pinterest to find ones that don't require brown sugar. I found them, so we're good to go. Hopefully they turn out good. Who knows? I've just been craving just like plain old chocolate chip cookies lately. So hopefully this satisfies and uh, yeah, we'll see. Now for the best part, which one should I try? This one. Alright, let's see. These are really good cookies. I gotta say, it's really good. <laughs> I'll stop eating this cookie on camera. On that note, I'm gonna end the video here for today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little day in my life. Um, so now I've made cookies, but I still have to make dinner. <laughs> um, maybe we'll just have cookies for dinner. It's totally okay, right? When you're an adult, you can totally have cookies for dinner. So, that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna go make dinner, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!